what can you do to look your best on Zoom conferences, Skype calls, or live streams? How can you turn your iPhone into a webcam that's significantly better video quality than any web camera, including the Brio, that's on the market in 2021? These question answered and more coming right up, so grab your cup of coffee and chill with me. Stick around until the end of this video, I'm going to actually show you how you can remotely control your iPhone from your computer, your Mac, or even an iPad. If you're like me, you might have purchased a web camera thinking it was going to help you improve your video quality only to be disappointed by the software having a lack of control that you want or just not being able to produce a good quality image. Sometimes we get grain or blur and it just doesn't look very good. And one of the most popular web cameras is the Logitech Brio. What I'm about to show you is actually better video quality in my opinion, and actually lots of other creators are saying the same. The first thing you need to do in order to improve your appearance on Zoom conferences or live streams is your lighting. You want to have the brightest light source on you. So that might mean having the bright window at your desk shining through on you. So sometimes we need to rearrange our setup so that we can actually get the light on us. Now, if you don't have natural lighting, you probably want to consider investing in external lights. And I've got lots of videos for you. There will also be links in the description below. The second thing that we can do to improve our appearance on Zoom and other platforms is to stop using that laptop camera, okay? The screen is tilted back so that you can see your screen, and we're also looking down at the lens, and that lens sucks too. It's really cheap hardware, even in the Mac computers, the built-in web cameras just don't cut it. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to try to get our camera, which is going to be your iPhone, up to eye level as close as you possibly can. Now I've got a stand here and we're going to put this together. So let's actually assemble this stand and this is less than 30 bucks on Amazon to pick this up. It's just a base plate. You can stick this on any desk anywhere. This is going to help you get the height that you need in order to get your camera to an eye level. Now this kit actually comes with this phone clamp and this little mini tripod. So I'm actually gonna switch this out. I recommend using a higher quality tripod head and this is actually going to give you more control. It feels a bit more sturdy and we're gonna get a little bit more height out of it. And that's what we're looking for here. We're just gonna screw this quarter inch screw on top here. All right, time to mount our iPhone on the stand. Now we're gonna go with the lens at the top of the phone and we're gonna be using the rear facing camera because it's significantly better quality than the front facing camera. So that poses a new challenge. We need to be able to control it and that's what I'm gonna show you coming right up, how you can actually do that from your PC, your Mac. So, and actually you can do it for free, which is a bonus. Are you getting any value out of this? I really appreciate that thumbs up. It helps this video perform better and I can get this message out to more people who need to know how to actually use their iPhone as a web camera. Feel free to share it if you know someone that could benefit from it. So mount this on your stand with the phone clip Now we're going to grab our iPhone cable that came with your phone. You don't need any special adapters or anything like that for this type of setup. And we're gonna plug this into the iPhone and then plug this directly into your PC or Mac. Now the application you're gonna need, which is totally free, is called Camo. So go ahead and open up your app store and download the Camo app. And then on your computer, you can go to camo.studio to install their free software, which enables you to control and see what's happening on your phone on your computer screen. It's awesome. So we're gonna go and check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and launch the Camo app on the phone. All right, let's get Camo Studio loaded up on the computer. All right, we've got Camo Studio. You can see here there's a number of different controls and I have the free version of the application. If you want to be able to dial in the settings a little bit more, there is a license available for it. You have to purchase it. You can see here the video looks great. It's a little bit more blue and, than I would like. 
So I would probably go ahead and just purchase the upgrade, just haven't done it yet. And there is simply just a watermark at the bottom right corner. So you can set this up for free and use your iPhone as a webcam. So we need to do one more thing to make sure that this setup is actually working for Zoom. We're gonna start a new meeting in the Zoom software. So we can close Camo Studio at this point and then just go into your Zoom software. We'll just double check down here, bottom left corner, it says start video. Click this arrow and make sure that you have re-incubate Camo turned on. Now for comparison, let's look at the Logitech C922 which is the other camera that I have. And you can see here, everything looks red, and I can't even tell you how many hours I've spent trying to dial in these settings. The software just isn't good. The sensors aren't what you would expect. You would think they'd be better. So here is our laptop view, and it just looks like garbage. So we don't like using laptop built-in web cameras. So the camo setup is going to be great if you just want to use your iPhone as a web camera. If you want something more, something more versatile, like you want to use your iPhone to film YouTube content with a tripod, then we can remotely control it using the Filmic Pro app and an iPad. So this gives you more versatility. You can actually remotely control your phone video outdoors. You can do all kinds of awesome stuff with it. I'm going to show you how to set that up right now so let's get into it so our setup's a little bit different for this we're going to need the apple branded hdmi adapter that has a power source don't buy a cheaper one on amazon trust me i tried three of them and sent them all back because none of them would work so the apple one i can, can confirm it does work very well. The second thing we need is an HDMI capture card. These used to cost like hundreds of dollars. This one you can pick up for less than 30 bucks. Super cheap. There's tons of manufacturers making these things now and you'll need an HDMI cable. So let's get this all hooked up. All right, so first we're going to plug the adapter into the iPhone. Next, grab your lightning cable for a power source. You can plug this into pretty much any USB port. Next, we will grab our HDMI cable and plug it into the adapter. And plug your HDMI cable into the video capture card. Then we're gonna plug this into the USB port on your computer. And then we're going to open the Filmic Remote app on the iPad, connect the devices, and just like that, you can now actually control your iPhone. You can start and stop the recordings. You can dial in your focus settings. You can create the bokeh effect, the background blur if you want. So the best use case for this type of setup is going to be for a creator who wants lots of versatility and to leverage your iPhone for multiple types of content, not just a web camera. You can do all kinds of awesome stuff with this. And if you'd like to learn more about that, I've got a playlist of videos for you right up here. It's gonna teach you everything that you need to know about the Filmic Pro app and the Filmic Remote app. And I'll see you in another video.